What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today we are back in GTA 5 Smuggler's Run, and we are going to be picking up where we left off last time, and going ahead with a few things with our hangar, with our planes, and uh, just a couple different things, little like miscellaneous things. I'm also going to jump into, let's see, I'm going to probably jump into um, a public session. And, well, don't, actually, not yet. You know what? I'll do that. I'll do that soon, but I'm not going to do that just yet. I have I have something else I want to do first, and that is I have another vehicle that I would like to pick up. And that, my friends, is, well, let's see. Let me pull, go ahead and pull up my phone, and we'll go ahead and pull up my phone, and then I will go ahead and order it. So, well, actually, first of all, let's see what's, if there's anything new in Warstock. Uh... Oh, right. Only thing is, that's locked at the moment. So, uh, let's see. That's part of Smuggler's Run. That's part of Smuggler's Run. That's part of Smuggler's Run. And so is uh, the Tula, which the Tula, I believe, is probably probably the um, the yeah probably the highest priced plane. So let's see. Trade price. Oh, air freight missions. Yeah, we need to do those. So, before we do that, let's grab ourselves a, um, an ultralight. Yeah, let's do it. Because, and I'll tell you why. Let's see, your ultralight will be delivered, be delivered to your hangar shortly. Because ever since I saw the ultralight, uh-oh. That's a nice aircraft you bought. Now be good to yourself, that's what I say. Now sometimes that's hard to remember. Now, if, if you don't treat yourself right, I, uh, no one else will. And I mean no one. Look, if you want to make that aircraft even nicer, with some modifications, you bring it to Charlie's workshop in the hangar. He'll look after you. I know. Yes, Charlie's workshop is definitely a thing. So, uh, let's see. I got, I got a couple... Oh, jeez. I got a couple of things that the game is telling me to do. But before I do any of those, I'm going to actually go over to the hangar. I'm going to check out my ultralight... And I'm going to see what it's like. So, let's set our waypoint uh, for our hangar. We're going to get down to the highway. We're going to follow the highway uh, to the tunnel. And then take the uh, usual Fort Zancudo entrance. Grab our ultralight. Maybe do a couple of mods. And then see see how that thing is to fly. Because I'm assuming it'll be really entertaining. I'm assuming, I'm assuming it'll be really fun. Um, if it's not fun to drive, I'll be really surprised. Well... You don't technically drive it, you fly it. But if it's not fun to fly, I'll be really, really surprised, I'd say. I'd be really surprised if it's not a ton of fun to fly. Mainly because of the fact that normally stuff like that, like the, the really small, lightweight, you know, aircraft, really fun to fly. Even if it's not, you know, jet fast. It doesn't need to be jet fast. It just needs to be it just needs to be lightweight and maneuverable and a hell of a lot of fun. If I can get my van onto the Whoa! Oh my god! Okay. That was a outcome that I am totally okay with. Holy crap. Alright. Little bit of a whoa, okay. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. It just well, it just can't carry on the drift like that's the problem is it just can't carry it on all right our ultralight is over there so we only have a little bit further to go then we can pick that baby up and it should be an absolute blast to use god this thing must be a diesel it redlines at 2000 rpm like geez Yeah, like, literally, it freaking redlines at 2,000 RPM. It's gotta be a diesel. Gotta be. And considering... Well... Hmm... I don't know. I was about to say it looked like a like a Ford van, so it would not, like be like a Power Stroke van or something. But the front end looks more like a Chevy. Rear end looks more like a Ford. Front end looks more like a Chevy. Obviously, you know, obviously, they, they do that all the time in GTA with most vehicles, but some vehicles have closer counterparts than than others you know what i mean oh god oh god okay Woo! tunnel time yo what up okay always take those things out i always 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 take them out so 
bit of whoa. I was like, let's hang our little bit of a right-hander into the base. And you have unread emails. Yes, I will handle those later. Thank you very much, game. I will handle those later. It's all good. All right, let's go. Oh, boing, boing. All right. A little bit further to go. We'll grab that ultralight. We might do a couple mods. I don't know. I might want to try it out stock and see how it is and then mod it. I'm not sure. We'll have to see it first. All right. Uh, you cannot handle the hangar with this vehicle. That's the other thing I wanted to see. I wanted to see if I could enter the hangar, hangar with the vehicle uh, or no. Regardless, let's go ahead and make our way in. God, why am I... Dude, I'm excited about this little ultralight. It should be a ton of fun. Like, more fun than... More fun than I'm expecting it to be, almost. There it is. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hell, yeah. Oh, my God. That's so freaking cool. So freaking cool. Okay. Uh... I didn't get any prompt to customize it, so I guess we're flying it. Wait, hold on. I'm going to back it up. I'm going to back it up, and I'm going to enter the hangar because I feel like we could have customized it. I'm going to I'm gonna head back in, see if we can customize it because it didn't give me any prompt to do it. That does look really cool, though, like driving a vehicle into the hangar. You're like, okay, yeah, that's kind of badass. Well, maybe not even kinda. It's a little bit more than kinda badass. It is very badass. Okay, press right on the D-pad to modify. All right. Oh, dude, look at all the stuff we can do. Armor, countermeasures, engine, handling, livery. Respray, propellers, cell, weapons. Weapons, yes. 762 gimbal turret. Dude, there's so many things that... So many things that I want to stick on this thing. Oh, God, yes. Merryweather digital camo, geometric camo. This is legit. Like, this is freaking awesome. All right, let's see here. I like the I like the um the Merryweather digital camo actually. Let's then grab, let's see what handling, smooth handling, sport handling, race handling. Hell yeah. Engine fully built. Chaff, flare, white smoke, black smoke. Yeah. Oh my god. Pink smoke. Oh my god. Holy crap. That'll block incoming lock on missiles, which is legit. 100% armor upgrade. Propellers. Let's see. Muffled carbon prop. Let's see. Reduces detection on the radar during initial acceleration and when freely gliding at low speeds. Okay, so we've done a few mods. We've done a few mods. So. We haven't done, we haven't, like, done everything, but, oh, there was, there was one more, uh, Meriwether Digital Camo Winter, but I'm, I think I'm good with this particular one, um, let's go ahead and take it out, see what it's like, and then from there, because we've pretty much built, let's see, we built the engine all the way, we built the engine all the way, we're fully armored, yeah, we built the engine all the way. We're fully armored. We've got a, we've got a pretty decent looking livery as well. Um, let's see how it flies. Let's see. Exit the hangar. Let's go. I was like, yeah, why waste time flying it stock? And let's take off. Oh, God. I'll talk to you later. So race handling is a little bit more tame than I thought it would be. I gotta be honest. But um, it's definitely fun to fly. It's really fun to fly. Will it do a barrel roll? Uh, no, it will not. Oh, yes, it will! Holy crap, yes, it will. Pull the hell up. Oh, my God. I'm like, pull the hell up, dude. You know what's funny about it, though, is that it's very much a personal aircraft, which you don't really get much of in GTA V. They're all, they're all planes. They're all big. They're all, you know, like... You can, are you serious? It's like, they're, they're all... Like, you can't really just land him in the middle of nowhere. Like, look at this. It doesn't care, dude. It just... You just set it down. 
That's all you freaking do is set it down, and it's all good. I wonder if it'll just bounce off the ground if I try to land it and just keep the throttle open. Hmm, find a new spot to try it. Oh, jeez. All right, all right. Oh, 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 yes, idea. Oh, for God's sake, I was going to bounce off the, the roof of the gas station, but that, yeah, the, the sign kind of, well, you saw how that one went. Okay, 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 and... Oh, yeah, it just, it just literally touches down and then takes right back off again. Our engine is smoking. That's probably not a good thing, but it's... I'll admit it's not quite as fast as I thought it would be, but at the end of the day, this is not made to be a fast vehicle. Our engine's about to blow up, though. Our engine is legitimately about to blow up, which is not optimal. <laughs> Our engine is not in optimal condition at the moment. Oh, God. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, boy. Oh, come on. Uh-oh, our engine's dying. No, don't die on me. Don't die on me, please. Don't die on me. No, 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 no. Oh, God. The engine keeps going out. It, it keeps cutting out. No, 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 no. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Okay, 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 okay. I'm thinking to myself, like, dude, on PC... If you turned up the, uh, if you turned up, like, the speed of this thing, it would be hilarious. Like, if you went on PC and made this thing just as fast as a jet, that would be the most hilarious thing in the entire freaking world. Like, but I love how controllable it is. It doesn't fly like a normal plane, which is what I was hoping. It, like, I was hoping it would be different, which it is. It's very different, and I love the fact that they, whoa! Dude! We gotta land it on top of a car. Like, actually legit land it on top of a car. That's our challenge. Holy crap, this is gonna be nuts if we can pull it off. Especially if we can pull it off before the engine blows! We gotta find a suitable vehicle. Something we can land on. Unfortunately, there are no flatbed trucks within sight. Because that would be the most perfect thing. Um, but, but, if we can find a relatively flat vehicle, uh, roof, then we should be able to pull something off. Oh, God. All right, all right, all right. Oh, jeez. That is, that is, uh, that takes some getting used to. This is a busy area. Oh, God, this is a really busy area. Oh, jeez. So many street signs and light poles. To, to, to hit. Alright, come on. Oh, jeez. The tunnel. Alright. Oh, hell. Oh, hell. Oh, hell. Oh, God. You gonna blow up? Please don't. Oh, God. You're gonna blow up, aren't you? You're gonna blow up, aren't you? Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, God. Help! Holy crap, help! This is literally, like... This is really not working right now. That's not going anywhere. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah it is. I can fix this. Oh, yeah. Turn right, please. Oh, God. Before you blow up. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. All right, all right, all right, all right. Land on somebody maybe? Oh, oh bad. Real bad. Come on. Come on. Will you move? Please. Come on. Okay, pull up just a little bit to take off. Oh, all right. Let's not mess with the traffic lights. Let's do this on, like, the freeway. It's a lot harder to line it up than I would have initially thought. And I'll tell you why that is. It's because when you're up in the air, you're like, oh, yeah, it's no problem. It moves around super easy. When you're trying to land on a car, it all of a sudden becomes a lot more difficult because you have to deal with... 
a, like you have to deal with everything being a whole hell of a lot closer and the adjustments that seemed very fine all of a sudden become super clunky. Love how you can see his hands move the bar around, though. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you going? Alrighty. Come on. Give me a give me some car, please. Like something to land on. Something to land. <sighs> oh, jeez. Alright, something to land on. Would be lovely. Uh oh. Oh god, the engine's cutting. The engine's cutting bad. It just cut. Oh god, it just cut. It may have cut at the right time, though. Or not. Oh god, or not. Oh, the traffic's passing me. The engine's locked up. It's locked down. It's locked down. Oh god. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh. That didn't work. <laughs> that, that, yeah. Um, that didn't work. <laughs> if there's maybe, you know what? You know what? Give me a second. I'm about to, I'm about to call the insurance company and get that thing back because I want to try that again. Morse Mutual, we're here to help. Yes, ultralight, please. Thank you. You can also request personal aircraft via the vehicle section of the interaction menu. Interaction menu. Okay, well, I'll get have to... Wait. Okay, well, regardless... Oh, well, okay, I think maybe that has to be done back at the hangar. Okay, uh... Quickish transport back to the hangar, huh? Trying to find that at the moment. Well, uh, let's see. Ah, this will be quick-ish. Yeah, this will be quick-ish. Thank you, sir. Your car's quick-ish. I'll just have to let you know. Actually, no, it's not. It's very freaking slow. It's the equivalent of a Chevy Volt, which is not fast at all. I love how there's that, that, like, coffee cup in the actual, like, you know, in the cup holder. It suits it perfectly. Oh, dude, the freaking tour bus would have been the best thing in the world to land on. Oh, why was that not there before? Why was that not there before? Damn. They're all out here now, too. Like, God, that would have been amazing. You know what's funny is that we're not actually going that slow now. It's, well, eh. We're doing, like, 95, and apparently 95 is, like, the top speed of this GTA-equivalent Chevy Volt, which is very slow. Now that I, like it, like, it feels quick, though, which is weird. Like, it feels quick, and then you look inside, and you're like, I'm only doing, like, 90, 95 miles an hour, and that is not that fast. Especially for a freaking top speed. Like, that's really, 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 really slow for a top speed. Like, come on. Let's go. Get me back to my hangar real quick. Get me over to my ultralight, and then we will set off to immediately immediately uh, try to land on something. We're not going to mess around with anything else. We're going straight to landing on something. Here we are. All right, let's do this. Let's do this, and let's do this properly this time. I feel like if we just take the ultralight out, get it done, like, you know, actually just fly it out, fly it straight to the bridge, land on something. There's so much traffic out there that we should be able to land on something, especially something large. I want to try that helicopter out soon. I mean, I, I know you can't try out, like, that exact one. You have to buy it, but... Well, I think. What if I walk over to it? That must be just one he's working on. Oh, hey, boss. Yeah. Yeah, that's just one he's working on.
All right. Come on, Ultralight. Let's do this. All right. Pull up. Oh, jeez. I was like, okay, pull up, please. Pull up, please. <laughs> pull up in the name of the game at the moment. Gotta admit, though, it's actually really fun to fly this little thing. It's really, really fun to fly it. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, thankfully, it's quite adjustable. Quite easily adjustable, I will admit. I tried to pull off a barrel roll, and I don't know why I was going to do that, because literally, like, now of all times, because I'm trying to keep the thing in proper working order, but, oh, yes, all these military jeeps. This is perfect. <gasps> oh, so close. No. Really? Are you freaking kidding? Oh my god. Is there any way we can fix this thing? Like, is there any way we can get it to not be... I don't know, stuck? It's literally stuck AF at the moment. I'm gonna just commandeer this real quick. Oh, bro! 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 Okay, come on, dude. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Not now. Not now. Please, not now. Oh, that got destroyed then. Uh-oh, and now this is gonna blow up. That did not go as planned at all. Oh, God. That didn't go as planned whatsoever. I'm jumping off the bridge. I didn't actually... I thought there was water there. <laughs> I thought there was water there. Are you freaking serious? Well... I legitimately thought there was water there, and I didn't actually go at all according to plan. But you know what? It's okay, because we found out that the ultralight is really, really fun, and hopefully we'll actually be able to land it on something. Later on down the road, we'll make a challenge out of it, and we'll see what happens. But if you guys did enjoy this episode of GTA 5 Smugglers Run, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comments down below what y'all thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time. Talk to y'all later.